Okay, this is a proportion hypothesis problem. It says the proportion of people who dream in black and white instead of color have 302, 62 dream in black and white, out of 286, 15 dream in black and white. Use 0 0.05 significance to test the claim that the proportion of people over 55 who dream in black and white is greater than. So I always know the null is always equal, so that's easy. I'm looking at the claim is greater than. Woohoo! Nice work. All right, identify the test statistics. So what I would do from here is I would open StatCrunch. So I'm kind of sort of doing that. So in StatCrunch, they have stat proportion, because I know this is a proportion, to sample. I don't have data. I just have summary. And from here now, I can just type everything in that they give me. Number of successes, 62 out of 302. Arg, 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 15 out of 286. I know this needs to be greater than. And that's pretty much it. So compute. There's my Z, which is 5.49. 5.49. Woohoo, good job. My P value. Come back here. Less than 0 0.0000000.000. 000 so basically it's zero. And so the p-value is definitely less than. So when the p-value is less than alpha, you reject the null. So the null was saying there was no dif difference. So there actually is sufficient evidence to support that the proportion of people who dream in black and white is greater than because we're rejecting the null. And I get nice work and they still want more stuff. So now they want a confidence interval. So if I come back here, I'm like, well, but, but there's no what, but, but, but. So go back to your options, go to edit. And you see right there, confidence interval and then put 0 0.90, compute, la, la, la. and how many decimals? So 0 0.109 would be rounded, 0 0.9, and the other would be 0 0.197, rounded. Now with a confidence interval, basically what we're looking at here well let's just answer this because the confidence interval limit notice is zero included in here no think of a number line zero would be here somewhere to the left so the limits do not include zero it appears the two proportions are not equal once again because the null said they were equal because the confidence interval limits include only positive values Think about that. If, if you only have positive, that means P1, which is this first group of people um, over the age of 55 here, that means this group would be larger, right? Think about it, because if it's positive, if it was negative, then that would say this group was larger. And so it appears the proportion of people who dream in black and white is greater than, so the 55 would be greater than those under 25. And there's way too many questions here. An explanation for the results is that those over the age of 55 grew up exposed to media. Can these results be used to verify that explanation? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, no, the results speak to a possible difference between the proportion who dream in black and white, but the results cannot be used to verify such a difference. Uh, yes, the results can be used, blah, 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 blah. I have no idea. I'm just going to guess. So I guess you can just guess. <laughs> yeah, so in other words, I was looking at um, you can't use these results to verify uh, such a difference. And that's it. That's that question.